Now, what do you make of that? It must be the doctor. Rajesh Singh. It's an honor, sir. What is that thing? We got no idea. But what's wrong with it? What makes you think there's something wrong with it? I don't know. It just feels weird. Well, the sphere has that effect on everyone. It makes you want to run and hide like it's forbidden. We've tried analyzing it using every device imaginable. But according to our instruments, the sphere doesn't exist. It weighs nothing. It doesn't age. No heat, no radiation, and has no atomic mass. I can see it. Fascinating, isn't it? It upsets people because it gives off nothing. It is absent. Well, Doctor? This is a void ship. And what is that? Well, it's impossible for starters. I always thought it was just a theory, but... It's a vessel designed to exist outside time and space. Travelling through the void. And what's the void? The space between dimensions. There's all sorts of realities around us, different dimensions, billions of parallel universes all stacked up against each other. The void is the space in between, containing absolutely nothing. Can you imagine that? Nothing. No light, no dark, no up, no down, no life, no time, without end. My people call it the void, the Eternals call it the howling. But some people call it hell. But someone built the sphere. What for? Why go there? To explore? To escape? You could sit inside that thing and eternity would pass you by. Big bang, end of the universe, start of the next, wouldn't even touch the sides. You'd exist outside the whole of creation. You see, we were right. There is something inside it. Oh, yes. So how do we get in there? We don't! We send that thing back into hell. How did it get here in the first place? Well, that's how it all started. The sphere came through into this world and the ghost followed in its wake. Show me. 